Ash Canyon is a treacherous, frozen wasteland, teeming with hostile wildlife, little in the way of shelter, and faulty wooden bridges held together by time-worn cords. But at the end of it, hidden away in an abandoned gold mine, is one of the greatest treasures the game can offer. The Technical Backpack, a permanent increase to your weight carry for the rest of your run. That it can be yours in a single day. The first day, in fact. And I will show you how. Once you load in, the first thing you should look for is burnt trees. They look dark and pointy. If you don't see these, remake. If you do, you need to look for a few things right away together. First things, mushrooms, berries, sticks, and cattails. Try to have about five sticks or so, at least. To make sure you're on the right track, you want to see the burnt trees with the waterfall. It should look something like this. Across the river from you should be a fire barrel. This means you're on the correct slope. Just mosey your way on up the hill. No issues if wolves are following you. You'll lose them on the first climb up. This part, you need to be extra careful. Do not go left. There is a high chance you run face first into a wolf, so instead take this path to the right I'm going to show you. You can shimmy back and forth until the game lets you actually move up the slope, but you'll get it, just keep trying. At this point, it's really likely that you'll run into a wolf, so just try to stick along the wall as best you can. If you're chased by a wolf, run down to this ledge and stand on this ledge, right to my right. The wolf will run under you and then run away. Use the time that it's fleeing and whining to run into the cave in front of you. The most important thing you can do right off the bat in the cave is either rest or make a fire, whichever order suits your fancy but the fire is going to be used to make a torch that you use to get through the cave. So do not waste all your fuel. Okay, do not neglect this part. I am telling you right now to strip down all the clothes and turn off your torch before crossing. Put it away too. If you don't, you will get all of your clothes wet, and it will destroy the torch in your hand. Once you do, go completely straight and take a right. After that, you can relight your torch and put your clothes back on. As you're looting the cave and moving towards the exit, make sure you loot every piece of coal that you can find. It'll be instrumental in keeping you warm on the way. Seriously though, don't get stingy with the coal. Actually just use it. Try to do it in like two hour increments or so if you have the fuel to afford it. You don't really need sticks for this part, I just happen to have some extra, so just use the coal. Also, don't forget to take a rest while you can. Two hours should be about enough. The beginning was probably the most sketchy part, but once you're past the first cave, it's mostly just a linear stretch all the way to the end. With a couple of turns here and there, it does get quite cold, but just watch your feet and you'll be fine.
I meant it, by the way, when I said watch your feet. The bridge actually sways back and forth, so try not to sprint or you might make one little misstep and, you know, have to start over. So, just to make sure you're on track, once you get past the second rope bridge, you should approach a location called Wolf's Jaw Overlook. This means you're definitely in the right place. Make sure you check all the caves after Wolf's Jaw Overlook for any mountaineering rope. You're going to need it to get into the gold mine. And if you're in the cave and it's pretty cold outside, like a blizzard or something, it's not a bad idea to rest for a little while. Especially if you're overweight. You're going to need your rest bar for this next part, since you'll be climbing down a rope. The rock closest to the cliff edge is the one that you can tie your mountaineering rope to. So just do that whenever you're ready to climb down. You're going to come across something awfully familiar. There'll be another ice pond. Just do the usual deal here, take off your clothes, although this time these won't burn out your light source. And there it is, the coveted technical backpack. And in eight in-game hours, no less, or no more than 20 minutes, with crampons to boot. Although what they don't tell you is that getting in was the easy part. Getting out, that's a whole nother story. If you're interested in seeing the rest, like how to get out all the way from the Ash Canyon gold mine to the Pleasant Valley farmstead, the full VOD will be in the top right. I hope this helped you get started in Ash Canyon, and if it did, Leave a like, that helps a lot. And if you want to see more long dark content or any other survival game that I might be featuring here, make sure to sub.